<laughs> Another day of mourning in Rafah after overnight Israeli airstrikes. This in an area more than a million Palestinians moved to, hoping it would be safer. Israel blames civilian casualties on Hamas for fighting in dense urban neighborhoods. They say there is safety in Rafah. There is no safety. It is only safe by God's side. Israeli forces also carrying out airstrikes against Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon. The attacks done in retaliation over the militant group's rocket and drone attacks on northern Israel that wounded more than a dozen Israeli soldiers Wednesday. All of this happening as Iran warns Israel not to respond to their massive missile and drone attack over the weekend. If the tiniest invasion is made by the Zionist regime against our homeland or our interests, they must be certain that they will face a very massive and harsh response. Iran launched the operation in response to an apparent Israeli strike on Iran's embassy compound in Syria earlier this month. While most of the missiles and drones were intercepted, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to respond, even as allies urge him not to. But it's clear the Israelis are making a decision to act. We hope they do so in a way that does as little to escalate this uh, as possible. Meanwhile, back at home, the fight for international military aid continues. House Speaker Mike Johnson releasing the text for three bills that would provide a combined $95 billion for Ukraine, Israel and allies in the Indo-Pacific region. But passing the bills would be an uphill battle for Johnson, who is also facing a threat to his leadership over the issue. The House is expected to vote on the international aid bills this weekend. In Tel Aviv, Israel, Jeff Paul, Fox News.